friends, welcome back to Blooming with Miss B. Today we're talking about how to divide on a number line. So I got a number line up, I'm gonna show you a couple different equations, but before we jump in, I want to review a couple of our key terms when talking about division. So first we have the dividend. The dividend is our big dad number because division starts with dad. So that's going to be our first big number. And because we're dividing, that means we are splitting that big number up. So that is going to be our divisor. The number that we are dividing by is our divisor. And then our quotient is what it equals. So we have our dividend, our divisor, and then our quotient. Okay, and the big difference with dividing on a number line is that we're really used to multiplication. With multiplication, we start at zero and work our way up to the big numbers. But because division starts with dad, our big number, we're starting with the big numbers and working our way back to zero. And we're not done until we hit zero. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's get to the first equation. Okay, so first equation is 20 divided by five. So first thing, I'm going to look at my dividend. My dividend is my big number. So my dividend is 20. So I'm going to start at 20 right here. Next, we are dividing by five. And this means that I'm going to be doing five little jumps along the bottom. And every fifth one, I'm going to circle because that's where my big jump is going to land. So once again, because this is divided by five, I'm going to be doing little jumps by five. So let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Circle that number. One, two, three, four, five. Circle. One, two, three, four, five. Circle. One, two, three, four, five. Circle. And once you've landed at zero, you know that you are done. And now all we have to do to find our quotient, our answer, is connect the little numbers that we circled. And the amount of jumps is our answer. So I'm starting at 20, connecting to those little numbers that we circled. So there's connect, connect, connect. And then final step, I just need to count how many jumps we did. So I did one, two, three, four jumps to get to zero, so my answer is four. So 20 divided by five equals four. Let's do another one. Next equation, we have 18 divided by three. So I'm looking for my dividend, my big number, which is 18. So on my number line, I'm going to start at 18. Right here. Now, because we are dividing by three, I'm going to count three little jumps and circle those numbers all the way to zero. Let's go. One, two, three. 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 Last step, I'm going to do my big jumps connecting the little numbers that we circled. Next. All the way to zero. Let's go. One, two, three. Now I just need to count up how many big jumps I did and that's going to be my quotient. So I did one, two, three, four, five, six. So my quotient is six, making 18 divided by three, six. Let's do one more. So this time I have 16 divided by eight. So looking for my big dividend, 16, that's my starting point. So I'm gonna to come to my number line, there's 16. Divided by eight means that's how many little jumps I'm doing on the bottom. And then I'm going to circle that eighth number. So 16, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Laying it on zero. So now all I have to do is go back and do big jumps to connect those little numbers that I circled. Starting at 16 because that's our dividend, ready? I circled eight and I circled zero. So how many big jumps did I do? I did one, two, making our quotient two. So 16 divided by eight equals two. We started at 16 because that's our dividend. We counted little jumps by eight because we're dividing by eight. We circled those numbers and then did our final big jumps to connect them. Big jumps are a quotient, which is too. Alrighty guys, so there is dividing with a number line. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up, subscribe, and don't forget, keep on blooming. Bye guys.